girls welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well we have another little monthly box we have of course the goods from snack verse and if you remember we had greece last month we had france the month before so i don't know what march has got in store i'm hoping maybe something from like asia i'm hoping that's the vibe maybe asia japan like something like that i feel like i'm craving some asian japanese snack foods because that's all that seems to be popping up everywhere on my tiktok in london and pretty much everywhere in life in general so if you haven't seen this video guys on um the christmas break shannon may or may not have been late night shopping and ordered herself a year subscription of snack first this is not collaborated or sponsored or anything like that i pay for this all with my money um instead of shannon just getting maybe one month or two nope she orders the whole year so this is a little series every month on the channel and as i say here we are in march shall we get into it if you've seen these before you know we get a drink and i think there's 10 snacks in this this is just like the budget normal box you can get a premium one which is i think about seven pounds more which it's just me i don't i don't need all of that i probably didn't really need a year either but hey ho these are the things that we do when we are late night shopping yes indeed it's better than paying like five six hundred pounds for a new handbag just pay a fraction of that and get a little box of treats every month so I'm not going to rub it, rub it anymore. Let's get into it and see which month we have. You know what I'm excited for? The little book with the jokes in. Yes, that is what I'm looking forward to. Most of all, well, and the snacks. <laughs> right, I've just opened it. We are not in Asia. We are in Europe, guys. And can you see the flag? We are in Italy this month. There was a little thing because I thought the boxing looked different. And they just um, put a little thing in to say... Apologies for the unbranded packaging due to the Red Sea crisis. The packaging supplies had been delayed. We hope this is acceptable and that you still enjoy the delicious goodies that we've packed for you. Warm regards, the Snack First team. And then, of course, you have your little bully. So I'm looking through here and the flavours already are screaming to me, okay? This is... Let's just put the food aside for one moment because this is what I like. I love my little books. When um, me and Dan was going through our snack box the other day he said um there's a lot of books in here i was like yeah keep them because i like them to see if there was anything that caught my eye to try and get them online but so the book is the main bit for me so as i say every snack verse comes with this little book and it actually has quite a lot of stuff in so we have italian facts to start off what are we looking at the invention of pizza was in naples in the 18th century um it has regional cuisine and artistic heritage obviously the coffee culture la dolce vita translates to the sweet life i love this the capital is rome the currency is euro 59.11 million people in population and then you also have a book and it tells you about like the eating traditions and the meals so breakfast they're saying isn't meant to be a filling meal it's more of an energy boost lunch is considered the main meal of the day and then dinner is normally lighter than lunch so that's what i found with most of the countries they have the bigger meal at lunch which is kind of what i'm trying to adapt within my life as well have like say my bigger meal of a lunchtime and then of an evening just have a little light bite or a snack once i'm back for work the culinary classic spaghetti carbonara risotto alla milanese ragu a bolognese bruschetta tiramisu and Osubuku, sorry guys, I've got cramp in my leg and I'm like, oh, that is a little bit painful while I'm sitting like this. So, yes, of course, ragu al bolognese is like spag bow, ain't it? So, you have a mini box or the original box or the premium box. So, the mini box, you get five items. The original box, you get five, ten, ten items and a drink. And then the premium, you will get the 10 with a drink. Then you get another drink. So you get two drinks and then two, four. So you get 20 items and two drinks in the big one. That is a lot. But as I say, that's not, that's not what I need. A little regular box was more than enough for me. And I think when I purchased this, it was roughly about 12 or 15 pound for the box i can't remember entirely guys it also does give you some recipes in here so as i say i do like keeping these little booklets but where is the thing that i'm looking for most a lot of you guys have said where's um mama g or dan in these 
The snack verse is normally always me. You see Mama G when you guys send us in food from different countries and we taste test them. But this is like a solo series. Um, the past few, Mum has been in for one of the sweets. Dan has been in the background. But today I'm solo. So I don't have to share with anyone today. This is all me. And then you have exploring Italy trips, um, immerse yourself in culture, step off the beaten path, pack lightly and dress stylishly. But this is what I like. You have a culture quiz. You get some word search and like crosswords. And then you get a quiz and laughs in Italiano. Let's have a look. I've got no one though to laugh at me jokes. I'm probably going to laugh at them myself. What have we got here? How do Italians ask what's on your mind? A penny for your thoughts. Penny is in penny pasta. I think that was a good one. If normal blood has plasma and blood cells, what does Italian blood have? Marinara sauce. <laughs> How do Italians burn 2,000 calories a day? By leaving the lasagna in the oven. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> and what do you call an Italian with a rubber toe? Rabetto. I like that guys these are corny as anything like if mum or dan was here they'd just be like sham I think it's funny I tell you what guys I've got new lashes on and you know when they start to irritate in the corner and I just have to make sure that obviously they're not like flinging up mid filming because that would not be a vibe would it guys but oh I haven't worn lashes for so long and I thought you know what well actually no you probably saw me in lashes in the last video but it's been a few days since i've been filming because i'm trying to give my um eyes a rest i've been cleaning them all and doing all like my normal lash i'm trying to like grow my normal lashes back but baby steps now let's put the little book up because we like to have what we've got to hand this we've got a lot of goodies in here there's a lot of like biscuits and crisp and of course a drink so what do we start with guys what shall we start with i feel like i need to start with these because these are what's screaming my name so these are called premium forno damiano crocantelli prosciutto so i don't know about you but prosciutto mm -mm -mm, that is tasty so for this it says inviting squares of focaccia okay Delicately flavoured with ham flavoured spices, natural living, the croconatelli are without palm oil, but with olive oil, sea salt, baked in the oven and flavoured with second cooking. Oh, okay, these do sound good to me. What would you say is the best country you've been to for their snacks, guys? I, see, France, amazing. Greece, amazing. Oh, Okay, so they're like little, as it says, for catchier squares. They're very crunchy. But very tasty. Mmm. You can taste the ham from the get-go. Because I don't know about you guys, what would you say... Is Britain's best snack because I don't know I feel like we're lacking in the snacking department sometimes mm. I like these you know that I'm more savory mm -mm -mm. I love the fact that you can taste like the little salt crystals on them have a little refreshment I would give them, I'll give them a solid eight and a half out of ten. They are very, very nice indeed. Now, I don't want to do another savoury because I feel like they are savoury. Yes, we're not going to do another savoury. Oh my God, guys, they've got loads of sweets. <gasps> Dan and Mama G have missed out on a good one here. They have, oh my God, there's Haribo's in here. Oh, <gasps> shut up. Oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> I might not be getting so excited. I just see this. Haribo. I see Zinzero Limon. They look lovely, didn't they? But what else is with that lemon? 
ginger. So it says indulge in the perfect balance of zesty lemon and spicy ginger in every chewy bite. This delightful Italian treat from Haribo offers a refreshing burst of flavour that will tantalise your taste buds. I mean, I'm sure it is going to tantalise my taste buds, but I don't do ginger. Oh, I was really excited thinking, oh, lemon fizzy Haribos. Mmm. Mmm. I don't, I need a small one because I don't think I'm going to like this. Like, they just look like lemon sherbet drops, but you can smell the ginger. I've got a drink to hand, okay? Let's... Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm gutted, guys. They're not... If you could do a little bit of ginger, you would probably like them, but I just can't do ginger at all. And it's not that it's too overpowering. Like, it's not burning my mouth off. Like, it says on there, spicy. It's not burning my mouth off. But... It is... You can taste it. Like, I can taste the ginger over the lemon at the moment and I'm like I'm gonna give them a five okay I don't mean to be mean I'm giving them a five because no I feel like I need chocolate which the Italians are known for right and guys when I tell you there is chocolate everywhere here there is plenty oh what is that no stick with the chocolate I'm gonna go with this now tell me what does this look like so this is called Duplo. That's like a Kinder Bueno, ain't it? Noco oh, Nocolato, though, is nuts, I think. Is it? Oh, it is. Guys, a Ferrero Duplo is the chocolate bar that delivers triple the delight. Experience the crunch of delicate wafer, the smoothness of creamy cocoa filling, and the luxurious indulgence of whole hazelnuts in one bite. Oh, I feel like we might redeem myself, okay? Italy, I think you could redeem yourself on this one because this is a bit of me. Look at that. Whole hazelnut. Mmm. Imagine Kindo Bueno with a nut. Definitely Ferrero Rocher vibes. But a bit more Kinder bueno I would say. Mmm. I'll give that a nine. I mean, there's three pieces in there. That would be one each for me, mum and dad. I feel like they might not see that. Because that... Right up my street. Right up my street. Now... Where do we go? So we're, actually, we've got more. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no, there's a couple of this. Let's have a look at what this is then. 20 cents, this one is. And this is called the Golador Fruit. I feel like it could be like just a hard jelly. It says. The renowned double sugary candies are loved by children in Italy. With its unmistakable fruit flavour and soft chewy texture, Golador fruit brings endless joy to little ones and adults alike. So it says fruit flavour. What are we thinking the fruit flavour is going to be? Looking at it, I'm thinking maybe like strawberry and apple. I can't open this. Good job I've got my old scissors to hand, eh? Probably that ain't gonna... Are they gonna cut? Yes. Imagine that if my scissors didn't cut. So looking at it, what are we thinking, guys? Strawberry, apple. Oh, oh it's very true, yeah. It 
it's kind of giving me not that I thought it was Vimto vibes but that is very chewy okay I'm guessing Golador is maybe something to do with football so maybe this is like a sugary treat that the Littons have I mean it's not unpleasant it would like I think if you had a bit it would really start to get your jaw working but they've actually put two of them in there so they come in double bits um for a little jelly I'd give that eight and a half that was actually very nice as I say a bit mm -mm -mm, chewy chewy the main one for me at the moment it's got to be the Duplo. The Duplo is up there with the Focaccia Crisp for me. Should we have a little bit of a drink to cleanse it down with? And now, guys, I love this brand. And I don't think we can get this in England, this one. So San Pellegrino is normally blood orange or lemon. But this is called Chino. And it's a black can. Normally San Pellegrino, if I remember correctly, is like a blue. So it says on here, San Pellegrino Chinotto. Born in the 50s, Chinotto is the sparkling drink made from extracts of sun-ripened Chinotto oranges. Oh, okay. A deep brown colour with a light carbonation that rolls off the tongue. Each sip is a journey to the south of Italy with the iconic Chinotto. Okay. So that might be why. Ah, look at that. They've even got the little thing of the map where it is. You don't normally have the whereabouts on a... Um, San Pellegrino. It is darker in colour as well. Oh, that's not like normal orange. How I would describe that, right? It's either like You know if you eat an orange and you get right to the skin and you catch a bit of the skin, or almost like a spiced orange. Like if you was to see orange in mulled wine, this I feel would be the taste of the orange. Well, I say, it's very similar to the taste of the orange because your girl does like putting a little bit of orange in her mulled wine. This wasn't what I was thinking. When I saw oranges, I was like, hmm, okay. Very unusual, guys. Very unusual. I'm going to give that about a seven and a half. Just purely because that was not... When you hear oranges, you think of like, oh, sweet. But that wasn't exactly sweet. As I say, it's almost like when you bite an orange skin or you soaked it in wine. Oh, that was a little turn up for the books, wasn't it? Let's have a look. We've got so many pastries here, guys. I'm like what do i go for i'm gonna go for this because this one i don't know what it could be oh my god oh guys so this is the matilda vincenzi mini snack look at that and can you see what it says you might not be able to puff pastry rolls filled with with hazelnut cream italians love their hazelnuts and i'm here for it a crunchy puff pastry cannelloni with a soft hazelnut chocolate filling yes please it's the finest and most luxurious pastry in a perfect versatile snack size portion okay matilda vincenzi let's have a go shall we this is our oh, hazelnut is yes hazelnut is everything can i open it probably not Good job I've got my scissors today. Italian packaging seems to be very hard to get into, guys. I don't feel we've had this problem with um, France or Greece. Is it because they're so good, the Italians just don't want you getting in them? Oh, okay. Right, let's have a look. How are we going to wangle this out? Because I actually do love a cannelloni. Oh, it's one huge one. Oh, I thought... You break it in half. Right, I'm not going to break it in half. But can you see it's almost glazed on top? And do you know what that reminds me of? Baklava. Because as I say, cannelloni is 
uh, like a brandy snap almost, rolled over, and then you have the filling in the middle. But this, mmm. It's like the most buttery goody pan au chocolat. Oh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Guys. Oh. oh, that's good. That is good. That is very, very nice. You're going a straight nine. You are going a nine with the other hazelnut thing. Oh no. Canon, one sec. Let me quickly change the battery, guys. <laughs> right. Hopefully Canon doesn't um break down on me anymore. Yes, the um I'm normally a savory person, ain't I? But the sweets from Italy are coming away. I've actually never been to Italy, guys. If you could, and you've been, what would you say are the top three places of Italy to go to? Maybe like on little city breaks, or maybe like a little Italian cruise. Please do let me know. We're starting to look at holidays for next year because <gasps> I am the big three zero, Danny's 35, and we're like, we want a nice holiday. And whether that be an adventure holiday, city breaks, like... It might be a big two-weeker, or it might be loads of little city breaks next year. It could be like a city break every month. <gasps> oh, that'd be cool. City break every month. That would be expensive, though. And the amount that I go shopping and the food we'd eat. Maybe a two-week might be <laughs> a bit more manageable. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, if you have been to Italy, guys, please do let me know down below. Right. I want to kind of save the other savoury for last because I've given them a little read and I'm like, I think they could be perhaps the star of the show. I love all this hazelnut stuff, guys. Look at this. We have got a Nokiola, which I think is hazelnut again. Tronky. Look at that. Tronky. What do they say about this? Ferrero Tronky. Of course it is. Ferrero. Encased in crisp and delicate wafers, the exquisite treat offers a symphony of flavours and textures. The rich hazelnut filling and the velvety cocoa create a harmonious combination that delights the palate with every bite. I mean, I'm all here for it, guys. I am all here for this. Why can we not have all this Ferrero goodness in England apart from just Ferrero Rocher? Look at all of these adaptions. And I say, it just looks a simple wafer. Mm. They also don't skimp on the filling. How many times you'll get a bag of crisp in the UK, it's half empty. You'll get something with a filling in the UK, it's half filled. Oh. Mm. You're good. Trunky. That might go above the other two. Oh, guys, I think Trunk is going to come like at a nine and a half. <gasps> I did like that. I keep going for my normal drink. No, we're going to have the mulled orange drink. That actually would probably be really nice with a gin or poured into some mulled wine. Look at me. Alcohol on the brain. I actually can't remember when I had a drink last, guys. I've been, I've been good. Oh, okay. Italy. A lot of the stuff. So there's two more bits in here that I feel are like going to be hazelnut vibe. However, these I've just seen. Pistachio. Is pistachio known in Italy? And these are the Molino Bianco Biocchi 
pistachio one of italy's favorite range of biscuits by mulino bianco the fragrant biocchi short crust pastry biscuit meets a delicious and soft pistachio cream innovative and tasty mix of flavors that win you over at the first bite now let me know down below guys but i know pistachio can be very hit and miss feeling it there is three biscottis in this bag and i love this because it looks like it has an easy tear it's not going to be an easy tear for me is it no i just can't open packaging at the minute guys i don't know <laughs> i don't know oh there we go i was going to say don't know what's wrong with me here but um pistachio i'm not a hater of it it wouldn't be a flavor that i would gravitate towards first off oh you know they remind me of little jammy dodgers but if there was something pistachio flavoured and like I was in the mood for it, it was the only thing there, I wouldn't turn it away. Oh. Okay. If this is our equivalent of a jammy dodger, Britain, we need to step up our game. Mmm. That's really nice. Mmm. Just trying to spanner in the works, guys. For a biscuit and what it is, I'd easily give that an eight and a half. Mmm, I like that. The drink is going on me slightly, guys, but I still don't think I'd change from like seven, seven and a half for a drink vibe. If I put it with some alcohol, you might think a little bit different. <laughs> right, I do want to save the other savoury ones for last because. They have a cheese flavour and I don't want to mix cheese and chocolate. Let's go with this one because this is one I've had my eye on. This isn't hazelnut. Okay. Pan distelli. And all I can see, latte. So this is some form of a coffee. What do we say? A pan distelli mooncake. Okay. A delectable treat that combines the softness of chocolate sponge cake with the richness of cocoa cream filling. Made with 100% Italian milk, the dessert offers the taste of pure Italian quality and craftsmanship. A mooncake. I don't think I've ever had a mooncake. Oh my god, it comes on like a little tray. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, guys. Oh, look at how cute that is. It even comes on its own little tray. Okay, so it's kind of like a dense sponge cake. Looking at it. Let's have a look. That is very rich. Mmm. I wouldn't say I'm getting latte though, I'm just getting thick chocolate. That is very nice though. I don't think you could eat more than one. Do you know what it reminds me of? When um, at Christmas time, you get kind of like the mini Swiss rolls, the reindeer bars very much reminds me of that that very thick chocolate rich sticky coats the top of your mouth however it's not as oozy as it seems in the photo like there it seems to be oozy now it's very thick italy what are you doing i've got to give that a nine out of ten i feel if that was mother nature i could polish that off in like three bites oopsie that is very very nice very very nice indeed now this looks all of the countries seem to do their own versions of this it's all 
very similar around the globe and everyone has their own adaptations but this is loaca gardener hazelnut crispy wafers with hazelnut cream filling and milk chocolate this kind of reminds me of what like you get in the bargain shops for example so it says loaca gardener hazelnut pleasure at the highest level a light crispy wafer with tenderly melting hazelnut cream with fine milk chocolate covering make it a very creamy composition and a true masterpiece we shall see shall we loaca but yeah definitely something like i could see in the bargain shops and as i say we all have our own variations of this it's just a wafer top and then Oh, that is my phone. A little bit drier than the others. Can't kind of stick to the roof of your mouth. I give that an eight, that one. That one is, you know, when you can just feel it sitting in your mouth. Whereas the other ones that have had wafers in feel like very light and clean. And the last one, I'm very excited for these guys. Fonzie's Glee Originale. So this says, Fonzie's, the beloved Italian snack, features crunchy puffed corn infused with cheesy goodness. Made with care, the crispy delights are oven baked for a guilt-free indulgence. Oh, I'm thinking they was going to be like, um, what's this? They're like knickknacks. These remind me of, um, the chickadees from the Australian video. Very cheesy. Oh, very Moorish though. Oh, I'd love these in a share bag. Okay, a share bag. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Oh. I've been holding out from giving that 10 today, guys. I think I'm going to have to give it. I saved the best till last. Oh! No one is getting their hands on these. I am demolishing you after the video, guys. Tim. Mmm. Dumb. Oh, my God. Why are they not bigger bags? I feel we need bigger bags of these because I would just be in my absolute heaven. Oh! Saving the 10 right till the end. Oh my god, who do I think I am? That rhymed a bit, didn't it? But I must say, the sweet have outdone the savoury on this. But the savoury has come through at the end and been the only one with a 10 out of 10. Most of the sweet stuffs had 8 to 9s. The focaccias were okay, but I feel they're very crunchy. They would be lovely with like a bit of hummus or dipped in balsamic vinegar. Oh, I've got some balsamic vinegar might do a little pot and uh indulge in them this has probably been the one that i'm most intrigued about because it's not what i thought if anyone knows what the chinotti oranges are whether they are like a bitter or a spiced orange please do let me know down below and guys that might be the only bag of haribos in my life that i will say that i don't like i do not like the lemon zesty ones with the ginger mm -mm. not a bit of me i'm afraid but that is another month of snack verse. And as I say, your girl has got one of these every month for at least a year. So we're here until Christmas with this one because, yeah, it's what happens when you do late night shopping. But I am really actually enjoying seeing the foods from different areas because London is ever growing at the moment with different country supermarkets. There is so many Asian and Japanese supermarkets popping up and I would love to see a French, a Greek, an Italian pop up. Or if there is anywhere that you know around London, the southeast of England, maybe like Cambridgeshire area, anything where 
it's other countries supermarkets please do let me know down below because as i say i do love to go and try some food so uh yes i'm not gonna ribbit rabbit and take up any more of your day but i will say this week make sure you have your notification bell on i will tell you in the community tab but i feel like there might be some extra uploads this week to just try and get a little bit of content out that i've been wanting to get out for you guys and it's just been trying to find the time but yes if you did enjoy the video you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below leave me a comment what was your favorite thing from this was there anything that stood out to you that you think you know what i might actually give that a go myself or as i say have you been to italy where would you recommend for me and dan to go maybe like a little city break a little getaway or if there's a cruise or an area and what foods do you think i need to jump on the bandwagon and if you know where i can get them just help your girl out with some food but guys take care stay safe as always and i'll see you in the next one bye